with Gary Halberg here at, on Wisconsin Dot Golf. Gary, it looks like maybe the MFAM Championship being another former GMO champ. How does this feel to shoot this number and to maybe get in the field? It feels fantastic. I went home last week, and uh, you know, you fly all the way out from Denver. It's a one round, 18 holes. You try not to put pressure on yourself. You know, just go relax, take some deep breaths, and you know, see what happens. And uh, yeah, I played very nicely. No bogeys. Uh, hit most of the greens. And, just a nice, easy five under if there's such a thing. I did have some putts uh, coming in. I made about a 10 footer on the uh, my 15th hole for birdie, and I knocked it a foot away on 16 to get to five. So wow. at the time, I thought, yeah, five would be nice, and I was able to pull it off. So it's fantastic. It's, you know, to come up here, Wisconsin, you know, growing up in Illinois, I love it. So I'm really, I'm really excited to be in the tournament. Is your game, is this indicative of how well you've been playing lately, or did you do something at home to, you know, kind of get ready for maybe this summer stretch? Yeah, I did. I made a change. Uh, I went out to Pebble Beach, some friends out there, and uh, I just, you know, what works? I think at my stage of the game, you know, where I'm at now in my age and my career, I think I need to stick with something that works. And, you know, you're always tempted to try and get better, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, that was it. And uh, try and make some putts. Did you go out to Pebble Beach last week, or was it before I that? I did. I went uh, three, three or four days before the tournament started okay. and uh, played a, a pro-am. They had an event there before the Pebble events. That was pretty exciting on Friday to see the course, and I sure. thought, gosh, you know, if anybody breaks par, that would be a miracle, and sure enough, they, these guys are awfully good. What, uh, what, how did you play in that event? What kind of event was it? It was, uh, it was uh, they call it Partners of Pebble Beach, okay. and they had about 18 foursomes. Okay. Charged a lot of money, and a buddy of mine called me up and wanted me to be one of his guys, so I, wow. I was happy to go to Pebble Beach you know, and do that. That was really fun. Does anybody recognize them after that? I mean, how do you, you, know, you know, keep in touch with some of today's players? Not much. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking this morning. I said, okay, I'm 61. These kids are 30 years younger than me. So when I was 30, did I know any guys that were in the 60s playing? <laughs> no, absolutely <laughs> not. Um, it'd be like me knowing, you know, a 90-year-old right now, you know. Right. But, but yeah, no, I'm I'm a different era for sure. And uh, I know some of the young guys. My son's a good pro. He's playing, trying to make it, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got some buddies. And uh, so I, you know, I know a few of the kids here and there. But uh, it's exciting to watch him. Boy, that U.S. Open was one of the most exciting events I've I've ever seen. It was, it was pretty epic, you know? Yeah, it sure was. Your son's name, is that Eric? Eric, yeah. yeah. I've seen that on some of the mini tour things, so. Um, and as far as, you know, how, how close do you feel you are to, you know, there are a lot of guys in this, in this field today that have, you know, done quite well at University Ridge, and I mean, is getting in the hardest part? Sometimes? Oh, yeah. You know, you get in off your number, you know, your career wins and mm -hmm. money lists last year, there's, there's that way. Um, I'm getting shuffled out right now, so I have to fight my way and claw my way back. I'll get in some events. But like this week, um, I wasn't expecting to get in, and um, so this was my only, the little crack was there, and I was able to get through it, so it was, that was fantastic. What kind of chemistry is there in a, in a twosome with you and John Rieger? You guys have played a lot of these. And so we have. usually you know that if either one of you is playing well, that maybe you know, that you know what the number might be. We were about the same most of the day. Um, he, uh, what did he do there? He was, he, he played three putted 14. That, mm -hmm. that kind of really hurt him. And uh, uh, we both birdied 15. But yeah, we felt like as a twosome, it was kind of slow for us. Mm -hmm. We're kind of the old school, you know, three hour guys. Sure. <laughs> so we felt like we were waiting all day. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a lot of momentum. So we were trying to not, you know, try and relax and not uh, get to the ball before it was time to hit, you know. But uh, if you're first off twosome, you know, you fly around, you get right. in this kind of a groove. Right. And uh, so, you know, Woodland, you think about him yesterday. He was waiting and waiting and waiting, you know, and he still pulled it off. That's, sure. that's hard to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm fortunate today. I, I was patient and made it happen. And um, what are your thoughts on University of Ridge as a course, that, and how does it play oh, for you? Oh, it's wonderful. It's, it's it's got the variety. You know, mm -hmm. um, you every hole's different, and there's it, it's very exciting. It's a real fan, uh, fan friendly golf course too. Yeah. Um, at 18, 16, 17, 18, um, the drivable. Uh, 14 or 15 and yeah, it's it's a fun. It's it's wonderful. It's a wonderful venue So really happy. I'll be walking those fairways and does your you know connection with Milwaukee and everything does it make you You know does it does, does Wisconsin have a soft spot soft spot in your heart? For, oh, absolutely a lot um, 
a couple, I grew up two hours away. Right, that's true too. And uh, at 18 years old, the drinking age was uh, 18, it was 21 in Illinois, so we, we crossed the, <laughs> the border a few times um, back in the day. And uh, no, it won the GMO at Tuckaway. Yeah. I've got some you know, really good long-term relationships, friends uh, that, are, that are living in the area, so it's gonna be great to reacquaint myself with them. And how is your health right now? It's pretty good. Is it? I feel pretty good, good. yeah. Super, thanks Gary. Thank